making Christmas, making Christmas. It's so fun. It's ours this time. Hey guys, me host you, Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Santa Jack. My dreams, my fantasies. I've been dying to open this since I got it. It's Jack Skellington dressed as Santa Claus. Or Sandy Claus, as he calls him. And he comes with his little present that's got like pumpkins on it and he comes with a little shrunken head and stuff oh i love this jack this is this is santa jack and uh, also in the available in this collection is the mayor and dr Fink finkel finkelstein i don't know like frankenstein and finkelstein i have both of those for review as well so if you want to see the other two get reviewed before christmas give me a shout oh, i can't wait to do the mayor because i can do them well i can kind of do the mayor's voice i kind of like his voice Jack, it's only 431 days to Halloween! <laughs> Jack Skellington, the pumpkin king of Halloween Town and patron saint of Halloween, has grown tired of his yearly routines when he discovered a doorway to another world called Christmas Town. Fascinated with the trappings of the new holiday, Jack tries to take over Christmas duties from Santa Claus, but he is clueless about joy and merriment as the other scare happy citizens of Halloween Town. Now with Christmas in danger of not coming at all, Jack must undo the damage he has wrought. This deluxe action figure of Santa Jack from Tim Burns The Nightmare Before Christmas features multiple points of articulation and comes with a display base. Collect all of the parts to form the town square. And it was sculpted by David Cortez. Right guys, let's break him out of the packaging. Let's take a look inside. So let's... Uh, there are few who deny that what I do I am the best, for my talents are known far and wide. Oh my god, I can't get into this packaging. Uh, when it comes to surprise, it's in the moonlit night. I excel without ever even trying. And with the slightest little effort of my ghost-like charms, I have seen grown men give out a shriek. With the wave of my hand and a well-placed moan, I have swept the very bravest off their feet. Yet year after year, it's the same routine. So, Jack Skellington in The Night Before Christmas is possibly my favourite Christmas story of all time. It's one that I yearly make my patronage to the cinema whenever they're showing it in Cineworld, usually. Um, here in the UK, they usually show it every Christmas. I make my... Uh, sometimes on Halloween night as well, there's sometimes pretty on. I make my yearly, my yearly uh, pilgrimage to the cinema to see Night Before Christmas. This year, Cineworld's doing Die Hard, though, so I'm quite excited about that as well. Oh my god, I'm dropping little plastic bits everywhere. An empty vase began to grow. I don't know why they needed so many ties on this. They've put, like, loads of rope ties on him, and it's just so unnecessary. He's got such thin little legs anyway. You don't need to... Okay, we're going to definitely need the base for this one. Definitely need the base for this one. Because this jack is ridiculous. <laughs> right, so here he is. <laughs> what? Just what? Why is he so thin? Well, here is Santa Jack with his big, big beard um, and his head. You can't really do much with the head because of the way, obviously, the beard is quite big. The arms lift up here at the side and do have a rotation hinge there. There's also a single hinge elbow that also rotates. And the hand as well is also rotatable. Although incredibly, incredibly fragile and brittle. Wow. Wow. Luckily, the hands are just attached by a little ball pin, so you just push that back in. Legs as well. They do lift forward with a single hinge knee and uh, also rotates. There's a rotation at the boot and the foot as well. That is just too brittle, man. Does he, is he even going to stand up on the base? Yeah, only because the this actually holds him up. 
Ah, I don't like how thin it is. Why? Why is it so thin? Diamond Select, man, what have you done? I know Jack's lanky and skinny and thin, but this is just insane. This is too far. It's making the figure unenjoyable. You can't really properly pose him. Because whenever you try, one of his like orifices fall off. His legs don't sit properly, so when you're trying to articulate them, they just fall. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this one. I just feel he's too loose to have fun with. I feel like I'm going to be forever frightened of breaking him. What do you guys think? He's very tall and it's hard to show him off on that camera, so... Definitely going to have to go to the desk cam on this one. I'm really not sure how I feel. Um, he does come with Santa's giant sack as well. And he also comes with presents. You can kind of use. And then he does come with a um, shrunken head. And another skull which has kind of got like a little bit of holly on it. I'd be tempted to when I pose him up on my stand to try and put that in his hand. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm not sure if I'll be able to lift him up to the camera. So you can kind of put them in his hands and it looks a bit, a little bit fun. Obviously when you're not moving it will be easier. But yeah, I'm going to go to the desk cam and give you guys an up close personal look right, at right, how I'm going to pose him and what I'm going to do with him. Play around with him a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I've kind of got a better bit, understanding of the figure. The so, let's look at him on the desk cam. I've got him now where I'm happy with the kind of pose I've managed to get him in. So now I've made it look like he's reaching, um, kind of reaching down to the sack, like he's about to leave, he's finished leaving the presents and he's about to kind of leave sort of thing. So I kind of tried to make it look like he's dropped off the presents in the house and... I think I've kind of got it a little bit more animated now. I think it looks more, you know, more fun at this point. It looks real. Uh, more of a, nat a natural pose, and it now looks more like Jack Skellington to me. When I was first messing with him, when I had him stood tall and stuff, I just felt like he was far too thin. But I kind of get it now, and I've got him into a pose that I'm happy with. So I do understand it now. It's more of a, a display piece than an action figure, in my opinion. You couldn't play with this. If a kid got this, they'd destroy it in seconds. He's far too skinny, the joints break and the seam far too brittle. But, saying that, as a collector who's going to put it on display for Christmas, this is fun. And I've been able to get him in a nice display-like pose that I'm going to keep. So what do you guys think? What do you think I've done? How do you think I've done with the display setup? It's all good, right? What do you guys think of this figure? This is currently in B&M, which is a discount chain here in the UK. You can grab this entire wave, including Santa Jack, the Mayor, and Dr. Frank, uh, Finkelstein. And they're all available for just, I think it's £10 down at B&M. HMV as well, for some reason, have started stocking these. They've got the Sally wave. So if you want Sally and some of the other ones, definitely go check out B &M, uh, go check out HMV. But yeah, what do you guys think of this? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, I'm sorry it was a little bit different because I was a little bit disappointed to begin with, but you know, still give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let and let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments below. I think I was just so gutted because I was so looking forward to this review for Christmas. And then the figure itself was a little bit of a letdown for me. But that's not it's not all about me, it's about you guys as well. So what do you guys think? I'd love to have a debate with you in the comments on whether you think I'm wrong, whether you think I'm right. Let me know, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let's go back to the main cam. So guys, like I was saying, am I wrong? Am I right about this figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you did enjoy this video, guys, like I said, give it a massive thumbs up because it would really support us, really help us out and help us keep making awesome videos. I hope you guys are ready for Christmas. I know I am. I'm very excited to get the holidays underway. Underwear? Underway? <laughs> so um, if you're like me and you're excited, let us know in the comments. Guys, as always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!